Ladies and gentlemen, please let me introduce Martin Vesper to you. He is the CEO of Digitalstrom, a company that helps us to make every single home really smart, whether it's a new development or a portfolio property. Hello, Mr. Vesper. Nice Hi. to meet you. Hi. Thanks Mr. Vesper, me. the smart home market is huge. A lot of global players are working in it. How, how does Digitalstrom fit in this market? How, what's the philosophy behind uh, your company? Uh, the philosophy behind Digitalstrom is that in the first place, we are an infrastructure that connects all devices in a house. Uh, so we start with push buttons, lights, shades, or whatever. We do that with this uh, small terminal blocks, um, which are small enough to disappear, and they connect it, and because they have computing power, they make them smart, and connected means they can communicate to each other. Uh, with that, um, everything, how things work together, is actually based on software and not fixed wire t like today. Today, a switch and a light are connected through a wire and you cannot really change it. Uh, with that, it's done by software and can be changed any time and can be used for multiple purposes. So, uh, there's a little computer inside this little thing and I can connect everything in my house with these things. All right, uh, that's meant for all devices uh, you have in a house which are not connected any house, like a TV that's already connected uh, via IP. All the others you do with this, because it has computing power, it can store data and it communicates over the power line, means I don't need any extra line. That's the reason why it works also in existing homes. So Mr. Vesper, as I already mentioned, uh, the smart home market is huge. A lot of global players are working in there. Let's, let's talk about some examples of other ideas to maybe show the philosophy, philosophy of uh, Digitalstrom. Let's talk about Nest. This is quite common in the US and it's coming over to Europe now too. Could you please explain Nest to us? Um, Nest is a learning thermostat. So it has uh, one task to do, it has to control your heating system. Um, now in the US, Nest is connected to, through a wire to the air conditioning and heating system because they have a certain standard there. That's not able, uh, the same in Europe. Now, um, what we do, we integrate Nest uh, this thermostat into the Digitalstrom system. So from the thermostat, anything can be controlled, whether it's valves of your heating system or shades or whatever you want to, want to do with it. So it, it's an um, extension of the Digitalstrom system, uh, allowing that your heating system becomes smart and same time uh, being able to control certain things together. Like we have the leave home button, mm -hmm. so all lights go off. This information also goes to Nest so it can change the heating settings, which is part of the Nest uh, system already. Or other things, uh, as you don't have a lot of heat air conditioning in, the, uh, in Germany or in Switzerland, uh, so if you set the thermostat to cooling, you might lower the shades and use the fan for that. So it's not competition. Nest is an application with a smart algorithm. Digitalstrom is an infrastructure connecting everything. So these two systems work excellently together. So it gets control over other devices connected to the electricity. Yeah, because we, our philosophy is always we connect everything so things can work back together based on software and what they actually control, we don't care. For example, we also could introduce that if the Nest start heating up, saying the heating system should uh, heat up, that the audio system is playing an announcement and telling, hey, Nest just told the heating system to start and you wouldn't have this information available if you need it. So Mr. Vesper, if you do smart things and nowadays you have to deal with Apple anyhow, let's talk about the, the smart home solution from Apple. How does that work together with uh, Digitalstrom? Now, HomeKit is a totally different situation compared to Nest. Uh, Nest is an application targeted to heating and has hardware. HomeKit is purely software. Uh, and it's actually a layer above the Digitalstrom world. Digitalstrom is providing infrastructure, connecting everything. HomeKit is an environment where um, they assume the devices are already connected and they are now providing software or an ecosystem where developers can um, develop apps for smartphones that devices can work together. Um, that might be overlapping with Digitalstrom, like our voice control, and they will use Siri uh, to control devices or rooms. Um, so so that, there's overlapping, but on the other hand, a HomeKit would also rely on a Digitalstrom infrastructure. So it's again an extension of the Digitalstrom system, and that's why uh, we also will incorporate uh, HomeKit. And since we have open API, it can be easily done. So we all can wait now for all these cool uh, Apple application designers to do great functions and great apps for my own Digitalstrom house? 
Um, yeah, there will be a lot. I mean, a lot is already happening today, but uh, with the home kit, they're trying to set up a standard for applications so they can work together as they did with the iOS. I mean, the iOS is a standard for application developer. HomeKit is going into the same direction. And then based on um, you know, products which you have in a home, um, like your appliances you have, and the guitar room just makes sure that a HomeKit can access all those devices, lights, shades again, or other devices and how they work together. So we talked about the thermostat, we talked about the software solution, or maybe let's, let's talk about a device. Uh, for example, let's talk about Miele at home. Uh, how does that fit together with the guitar uh, Now we're talking about devices like washing machine, dishwasher, or other devices which you have in a house. And uh, I mean, they have a purpose like washing machine, washing, uh, washing your clothes. Um, they get smart and they get connected as well. And Miele at home, what it means is their devices are connected and they have open APIs. So a system like the Guitar Room can now work together with it. We're not trying to substitute what they have on their app, like controlling the, the dishwasher or washing machine. We will extend it again, like if the machine is ready, that we can play an announcement on the audio system, that we tell the smartphone everything is done. Um, that those things work to, together. So uh, you will find more and more those devices in the house. They have connectivity and suddenly those things work together through the digital room infrastructure. Uh, so that's the third area beside having um, devices like a thermostat which have to communicate to other devices in order to work. You here have a device which will work on its own like a washing machine, it will do the work, closes everything on its own, but it is additional value if it can communicate to other devices and through that, uh, through this orchestration of, of those things, the customer gets an extra value nearly for free because he has all the devices and it's just software which takes care that if it's done, you get an announcement or you get a message on your smartphone. So, so with Digitalstrom, it's absolutely my decision what kind of device I like to buy, which kind of smartphone I use, and which heating I have in my home? Yeah, that, and that's very important that you are free in the choice of devices you want to have because the repurchasing cycle uh, over time when you buy what and the, you want to have the choice between different brands, you want to have the choice uh, to buy something today and the other device in three years, and that's doable because the guitar room has an open infrastructure and will connect all the different suppliers of devices and also at different times. Thank you very much, Mr. Vesper. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.